let's get right into it, Pete. What does it mean to you? Discipline dictates action. How did you come up with this? And, and uh, how do you execute this for your trading? Yeah, I think it's just something, Dirk, that that it, it made sense as something that, you know, I've always tried to explain to people the markets, particularly the, you know, all of us know, anybody involved in the in the uh, derivatives markets understands that it can be a little bit confusing. Um, but you also have the greatest opportunity in the world because of how you can leverage things. And it's something that John particularly points out very frequently on Rebel's Edge when we're talking about some of the unusual option activity and what that really means when somebody buys 10,000 options and how that each option is representative of 100 shares of stock and the size of these trades and all of that kind of thing. Um, but, you know, what I always try to go past uh, when I'm talking with people is you, it's great, but you've got to have a game plan of some sort. And that doesn't mean that can't get tweaked a little bit and, and, and to some degree change, but changed. But you really do have to have a game plan in place that you are, have set goals where you're looking to, to make the best out of the trade. And it's going to have to take discipline because unfortunately the worst thing that can happen is to be right about something and not having the discipline to at least, you know, take some profits when they're there and everybody might have their own set of rules. But, you know, John and I have been talking about this for many, many years. The fact that if an option that we purchase doubles, we're going to take off half. Now we've taken our money back. And then it's up to you how you want to play it from there. But that's just all part of it. You're, there has to be an action that occurs as you're going through this process. And the more that you can do that and the more discipline that you can display, and we talk about this all the time. It's why uh, Market Rebellion has had such a great relationship, I think, with the special forces, whether they're the SEALs or the Rangers, whomever. Um, those guys are disciplined beyond words, right? And a lot of athletes are disciplined beyond uh anybody's uh, ability to even even ever actually uh, see it up up close because all you've got to do and we were talking about this a lot this week on rebels edge as well john and i've been talking about the combine the football combines um you turn on that for just 30 minutes or so and give yourself an opportunity to watch some of the athletic moves that these guys are able to do and how are they able to do that it doesn't all just come naturally sure there's a heck of a lot of natural side effects that are there that that really do mean something. But the reality is that um, you really honed everything about what you are to be the very best, greatest that you could possibly be, right? I mean, and that's what you've got to do, I think, each and every day when you're in these the, the markets and you can't slip. You have to always have some form of discipline, whatever that might be, um, that you're going to take that action throughout the day. And And you know what, John and I do this all the time. And it's something that, you know, makes a heck of a lot of sense. The people that both of us use for execution in some, some, to some degree anyway, are, are guys that totally understand it. They know exactly what we want and how we want to be able to do things. And so we've all got this agreement together and how we're going to act so that, you know, we're actually even to some degree, we're actually somewhat dependent on the team itself. Right. I mean, you know, you've got teams in the seals and you've got teams and all sorts of other things. You've got the defensive team in football and you've got all of this. And that's that's kind of what we try to incorporate into this whole thing when we say DDA. So it's it's all about the discipline, and it starts from the moment you make that first execution to buy or sell an option. 